and welcome to Faywood. So I've managed to rope my husband into this video and I think it was the promise of having snacks. Um, so <laughs> we are going to do a bit of a collaboration video with um, Odin's Musings. Now Odin I've been watching for quite some time and I feel like Odin is my spirit animal. Um, loves makeup, loves beads, loves shiny things, loves spooky things. There's a lot of... Um, things that I can get on board with so I think it, you know it really made sense to uh, get together and I thought this would be heaps of fun because Odin always does these really great videos with really interesting strange foods and trying them out and I can't help but watch all of them and just giggle at some of the weird things like the Bob Ross drinks for example and other weird stuff like that and I thought it'd be really fun to reach out and see if we could do um, a bit of a swap of food. Now I came up with the idea to do a Halloween theme swap which was kind of a weird suggestion because we apparently don't do Halloween in Australia. <laughs> there was like nothing, I think I got one thing that was Halloween themed and the rest of it, um, well I've used some creative inspiration on it so you'll have to go and check out Odin's channel to see what I gave Odin because um, yeah I used a bit of craftiness to you know spookify all the snacks. Um, so anyway, we've got this box here from Odin with snacks in it. We haven't opened it yet. I wanted to open it on camera and see like what's in it and like work out what we think without having any kind of preconceptions or whatever. And it's from America, right? Yeah, so it's all US, USA snacks. Um, and I tried to give really like Aussie themed snacks to Odin. So um, I couldn't really do so much of the Halloween thing, but I thought at least I can try and do some things that are very Aussie. So we yeah given some very Aussie stuff uh, some might be a little questionable I'm not sure if Odin's gonna want to eat all of the things but we'll see um, so yeah let's crack it open do you want to do the honors sure I've got this uh, I've got a trusty cheap Stanley knife, cheap Stanley knife, knife yeah <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to see what's in it <laughs> I did have a couple of like requests because I've never tried a Twinkie and I've never tried candy corn, so I think they might be included in there. Oh, look, it's actually the right way up. Oh, is it? Oh, good. Oh, cool. I've got a card. Okay, sweet. Let's have a look. Oh, and it's all um, done up spookified, so mm. let's see what Spookers? Odin has to say. Oh, really? All right, so greetings. I had so much fun shopping for you. I picked out some of my personal favorites as well as some childhood nostalgia. Uh, I fear for the safety of the Twinkies, but hopefully they arrive <laughs> semi not squished. We'll see in a minute, I guess. Um, the whoopie pie, whoopie pie, I've never heard of it, is um, a main specialty. Uh, is that guava and pineapple leffy, leffy teffy? Loffy toffy? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Lef leffy teffy? Leffy taffy, I don't know. Taffy, I think. Taffy, maybe. Um, is... Uh, so hard to find. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for the swap, Odin. And it's even on spooky paper and everything. So, thanks, Odin. I can't wait to see. So, it sounds like oh I've my got God. my Twinkies. I already see one that's just weird to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one? <gasps> oh, I've got yeah, stickers! Ah, yeah. oh, cool. Love it. Alright, so we just pick from the top and see what we find. Oh, Laffy Taffy. It looked like an E, so I was like, uh, Laffy Taffy. Um, Alright, do you want to try Laffy Taffy? There might sure. be another one. No, no, there's some sort of random things floating around. Oh, here you go. Oh Laffy goodness. Taffy. I've got pineapple. What have I you got? I've got guava. Do you want guava or pineapple? Uh, I kind of want guava. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can swap. Oh, there's a couple of each in here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's right. I can have a pineapple. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm a fan of anything like guava, like um, guava drinks and citrusy things. And, it's meant yeah. to be chewy, right? Um, yeah, sweet, chewy. Like, get stuck in your teeth, chewy, isn't it? I think. Yeah. It seems like it. Yeah, I don't think I've had taffy before, so. Mm. Oh, oh, god, oh, it's chewy. Oh, don't even open it. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. That is so chewy. I've, I couldn't do the whole thing in one. in my whole mouth. Because <laughs> it's just. Oh, I love the flavour of that though. Hmm. Guava one's really nice. So, 
dog with my mouth full that's going to happen a lot in this video. So if you don't like that, maybe check out of the video right now. <laughs> mm. Mm, I like that a lot. If I've got something in the teeth, make sure you tell me. <laughs> there you go. It's really good. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, it tastes very familiar. Like, I think we've mm. got something similar to it. I think so. I think we've mm. got... I'm not red skins, but there's something like it. Uh, red skins are close, yeah. That's harder though. That's a harder candy, but... And they've got the longer, um, like, red and green ones, like the apple mm, ones or whatever. Toffee apple. I mm. wanted to find some of those, because... I don't know if you guys have them in the States, but toffee apples, like these long, thin bars that are really hard to chew on at the start. Like, they're not an apple shape, they're like a bar. And they've got a really sweet, nice flavour. Sweet like this and really chewy and it's red and green, the toffee apple ones. I love them. I used to eat them as a kid all the time. But I haven't seen them around forever. Yeah, maybe I'll put the bar in. You ate that all. Oh, well, it's not the kind of thing that you can kind of have half of. It's like, you know, pretty practical. <laughs> I don't realize. Sorry. Now we can. Right, I don't one. need to like chew this now because it's still. <laughs> you go ahead and, and find something. This one to... <laughs> is the one that looks weird to me. Oh. Kit Kat pumpkin pie. Oh. Oh. See, now we don't have pumpkin pie in Australia. We've both had it though. We know what we've it is. We've had it because but... we've known like American people. There was this mm. la lady I worked with, excuse me, from the States who, um, you know, brought in some pumpkin pie for us all to try. It was really nice, mm. and like I'm kind pumpkin. of sad we don't have it. I like pumpkin pie, but in a Kit Kat, it's interesting. There's a couple in there if you want to. Let Mmm. Oh, the color's cool. That's too. really Sorry. cute packaging, like a little face with sunnies on. Oh, it smells like um pumpkin and um cinnamon. Oh, nice. I think that's how they flavor it, isn't it? With like spices, it's like sweet, but oh, man. with like all spice and stuff. You have to try oh, it. Oh wow, that's so unusual. Mmm. Okay. Oh wow, that, that's so weird. That's so good, right? I like that. Yeah, mm. it kind of reminds me of like a cake or something. Like, not even a pie. Um, what are the? <clears throat> I'm sure I've made cakes or puddings or something that have the mm. old spice in them, and it's just got that. Oh, I can't even think what it is that I made that had all spice um, in it that it reminds me of. Kind of like hot crust buns. I don't know. It's got mm. the. It's just got a cinnamon. Yeah. Pumpkin spice on it. Yeah, it's really nice. So and yeah. very unusual. Like, and the smell is quite nice. Like it's um, you can smell the spices in it. Doesn't taste like chocolate at all. The wafer's no. good in it. No, yeah, not like chocolate. Like, mm. this kind of reminds me of cake. Yeah. Sorry, I'm diving in on diving, your video. Diving. Yeah. No, nah, it's alright. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> does Odin think he's gonna trick us with these? Oh, that's what the sour thing was. Now we do have the those in Australia. Extra sour, we have those. That was always the thing as a kid. You'd have, you'd dare each other to have a warhead, either a hot or a sour warhead, and be like, "How long can you keep it in your mouth?" <laughs> I'll have it later. Like I like. Them. I like warheads. I like the sour ones. I've just mm. always had a, um, a taste for sour things, so like I can enjoy sour things. Yeah, I'll have it later. What else have we got here? Fruit roll-ups. Oh, I used to have these as a kid yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, we have fruit roll-ups. Oh, do you want to, I mean, I don't know, we could still try a little bit if you want. We'll try the, we'll try the unusual ones. Try the unusual ones first. Yeah. Alright, what else have we got in here? Oh, what's this one? This is a oh, different sort of thing. Goldfish. Uh, baked snapped crackers. They look cute. Like a little milk carton. Hmm. Did we hold up the Kit Kat one? I did. I don't okay. know if I, um, because we're a little bit further away from the camera so that we both fit in the screen. So hopefully you guys can see it. But it's really cute. It's got like sunnies on the Kit Kat one. And um, I think Dan's a fan of the um, Kit Kat one. I didn't even know I had a pocket in there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you were just like shoving it yeah. in and seeing what happens. So then I got a pocket. 
<laughs> Putting it in the cleave. It's gonna come, come in handy. <laughs> oh. What's that one? Cat um, it's goldfish. goldfish. Baked snack crackers. And oh, I am sure I've seen these on American sitcoms where they've someone's talked about like the goldfish crackers or something. Oh ah, yeah. I think it was on sure. Friends, wasn't it? Where he was like putting little goldfish crackers in the fish tank. Am I like he's Chandler had a roommate that was a bit crazy. Oh, was that what the Was that what that was? If yeah. I I don't know if it was the crackers, but um it might have been and that was pretty funny. Try them? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're pretty cute. Goldfish um, shaped. Mm. I don't know. I don't know who thought they should be a fish shaped with a cheese flavour. It's kind of strange. Mm. I'm still trying to work out why it's in like a milk carton container. I know it's all a bit strange. Like fish shape, mm. cheese flavoured milk carton. Like three totally different food items all thrown together. And super good. That did taste good. Mm. It's gonna be my lunch. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Mm. They're Moorish. I like those. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you can snack on those with a few beers. It'd be good. Yeah, actually, and I suppose it's a good little handy little container. Mm. Snack container. There's a fair few in that, though. How much, um, how many grams is in that? 57. Oh. Two yeah. Oz. Okay. Mm. Fits a fair bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, what else do we have? Oh, that's good. This was one that I had requested was candy corn. So I, um, like we don't have this in Australia and I didn't even oh, know dude. what candy corn was for ages. I recently realized it has nothing to do with corn. It just looks like corn. Cause I think I was asking someone from the States. I'm like, what's the deal with all this candy corn? Like, is it some sort of corn flavored thing? Cause it always, like you see it on movie, like videos from the States, like the shape and stuff looks a little bit like a corn kernel but I'm like is it corn flavored why is it corn you know is it just the shape of corn and it's just the shape of corn I think I haven't even seen these before really no I've heard oh. of candy corn but I've never seen them okay hmm. I don't know what That's flavor they are corn candy corn bonbons uh, I don't know artificially flavored I don't think it actually says Naturally fat free. I love how they say that with stuff that's full of sugar. <laughs> there's no fat, there's just tons of sugar. Mm. Here's my rattling of bags. Alright. Just to finally. Minka? Uh, one of those looks a bit broken. <laughs> there. Oh, they're hard. Mm, not too hard. No. It. But firmer than I was expecting. Hmm. I'm just getting sugar. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. I'm trying to think what that reminds me of. It almost reminds me of the little milk bottles, but... Because mm. it's got that kind of... texture. Yeah, um, definitely sweetness. the milk bottles. Yeah. Mm. But sweeter, sweeter? They're good. They're than... super sweet. Yeah. That's yeah. the sugar. Man, I, I don't know. I'm going to be able to eat too many of these in a row. Mmm. I can't pick a flavour that I'd say that is. It's just sugar. Like, yeah, I mean, when they say artificial flavour, it's just like sugar, yeah. miscellaneous artificial flavour, well, I think. I think you'd have one or two of those, like, a day, maybe, and that's it. That's, yeah, that's it's pretty like, sweet. Oh, For us, anyway. Uh, we don't yeah. eat too many sweets. Wow. But... That's intensely sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, what else do we have in here? Now, oh, this is got? the, um, that's another Warhead, but it's the raspberry flavour one. Has that got... Oh, is that the one that covers the mouth in blue? Oh, I don't know. It's just the Extreme Sale one, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I remember there was... Oh. oh I got this one here? too. Which is another one of the roll. Oh, something's a little squishy. It's alright. What do we got? Oh, oh Wicked Whoopi. I have no idea. I've never heard of a Whoopi before. Does it say anything about it? I don't know. It looks like a cake. Let me hold it up. Wicked Whoopi. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, this is this is new to mm. me. I need a piece of paper. We should have put a plate up. Oh well, it's too late now. Oh, unless you want to grab something. <laughs> How messy is it? Uh, Lauren messy. It could be messy. <laughs> All right, we've just grabbed some paper to sit this on and like some paper towel to wipe our hands because it's a bit messy. I'm going to try and hold this up. So it's a cake, seems. And it seems like it's got icing in the middle, but um, 
It's quite sticky. I'm gonna try and break. Oh, it's smell the chocolate in that. That's... I want like a little bit of this. <laughs> this looks sweet. To yeah, me. could be sweet. All right, let's give it a go. All right. Mmm. Mm. Just chocolate cake. Yum. Yeah, it's just like a sponge chocolate cake, but like mm, that's sort good. of yeah. In um, like it's got two sides to it. It's not. It's not quite a cupcake. It's not quite a, it's like a bun almost, mm. made of cake with icing in the middle. Mmm. <laughs> Chocolatey yum. Mmm. Mm. That's a nice flavour. I do like that one a lot. No way I'm eating lunch after this. <laughs> yeah, we're filming this right before lunch because we were worried that we wouldn't be able to eat it if we eat lunch first, so... Our lunch could be lollies. <laughs> Can I have a pepper, pepper uh, jar? I'm a method. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's Am this I little thing? Am I chopped in my face? Uh, no, you're good. Am I? Um, I don't know. I oh, jeez. No, you're right. Oh, okay. What's that one? Um, all right, thing. so I've got like a little lolly bag or something. Mm. I'm not sure what's in there. I'm going to open it and see. Um... Oh, sticker. It's a palm reading. little palm reading sticker. I don't know if that's showing up. I can't tell from here. <laughs> but it's a palm reading sticker. <laughs> What's this? Stash, Spice Dragon, Red Chai, Caffeine oh. Free. Oh, a Chai um, Dragon. Spice Dragon, Red Chai. I love Chai, so, and with the name Dragon in it, I'm like, yeah, that's for me. <laughs> So, a little sachet of that. What else have we got here? Little vials of something. I don't know what this is. Hang on. I've got, <laughs> I've got icing fingers. <laughs> oh, they look like... Um, I used to have those. What are they? Aren't they little oils you burn or something? Eternal... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Black Phoenix Alchemal Laboratory. Hmm. Is that a scent? I assume there's or scents. an oil? I might need to look this up. I'm actually not really sure. They could be a perfume. Sometimes you get little perfumes in little... That would be interesting. Okay. I want to open one and just see if it has a scent. It might be just a perfume. And it's got a little applicator. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's a perfume. Like a little scented oil. Is that? Probably just smelling smell. cake on my fingers. <laughs> no, it smells good. I'm just trying to wonder Ooh. what it is. I'd say perfume it's like a, a yeah, like I don't know. Well, I I think what I'm going to use it for is like a perfume. It might be a burning oil, but like it smells really nice. I <laughs> I could yeah. see, and it's got a little applicator thing, which is usually what you use for a perfume to like mm. dab on yourself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I might look it up though, just to make sure that I'm not like putting some really weird thing on my skin, just going, oh, this smells nice, and it's like some, I don't know. Don't burn you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I have a tendency just to fly by the seat of my pants and worry about things afterwards. I can't open it now. I can't believe it. <sighs> All right, I'll have to smell those later. But the one that I opened was very nice, so mm -hmm. thank you very much. Sticker? Ah, sticker. This is the sticker of uh, Odin is a fantasy writer. And I am a fantasy reader, <laughs> so um, that's really cool. Like that's of one of Odin's books, Sleepless Flame. Um, another sticker. Very cool. Ah, oh, some more pins. Sleepless Flame pin. Odin's got the merch. <laughs> Where's your merch? <laughs> yeah, we got merch. Oh my yeah. god! I got oh, a little beaded cool. thing. Oh, I feel like I should have put something beaded in with mine as hmm. well. But uh, I love Rivoli's. So very beautifully um, right angle weaved um, Rivoli. There, I was about to say cabochon, but that's not right. Um, beautiful. Go and check out Odin's um, tutorials because if you do want to learn about, in particular, a lot of right angle weave. Um, awesome like intricate pieces and stuff. Odin has all sorts of tutorials. 
And I think, um, if I'm not wrong, there's a Patreon for even more tutorials if you want, like, additional stuff. Will it be in the description link? Yes, it will! Thank you, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would, but I'll just state you. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got? Oh, more oh, taffy. That's taffy. More taffy. We'll, we'll leave that, because we've eaten that. Yep. What else do we have? Holy oh, cow. Lucky Charms. Oh, oh, I've heard of these. Definitely <laughs> those. Isn't that a cereal, though? That's another roll. I'm pretty uh, sure Lucky yeah, Charms is a cereal. It. Yeah, it is. Frosted Toasted Oat Cereal with Marshmallows. Ooh. I find it so hilarious that you guys over there eat cereal that has, like, lollies in it. Like, we would never do that. It seems so strange to me. But, you know, wow, you know, great. <laughs> and it's so cute, that package. With a little leprechaun on it. Um, you might have to do an edit, Lauren, and see how good they were. Because we don't have bowls of Yeah, but we could just here. try a little, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, just, like, snack. Because I wonder if people... Do, uh, you guys will have to tell me, because we um, are Aussies that don't have this and don't know. Do you guys just snack on this sometimes, or is it purely, like, a cereal situation? You know, is it a open this and have a crunch on the on it dry? I guess to, some people might do both. Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> you can see the little uh, lollies in there. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna try a lolly and then I'm gonna try a crunchy bit. Do you wanna try? No, yeah, I'll try a mix. Oh, I thought it was gonna be. Oh, sweet. I thought it was gonna be a chewy lolly, but it's a crispy lolly. Oh. Like a um, meringue mm. sort of lolly. Mmm, okay. It's just corn, right? Does that taste like? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's, you know, it's um, oat, I think. Mmm. But, um... It's a bit sugary, but not... Mm. The cereal parts aren't too sweet. No. These are obviously sweet, but they're kind of meringue, which is not what I was expecting. I always thought this was... I'd seen this before, like on TV and stuff, but, um... Oh, I thought it was chewy. Well, I thought it was kind of like those little milk bottle lollies, mm. like it mixed in there, and you know you'd get these little chewy sort of lollies. But I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I love that meringue. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I used Not to bad. eat cocoa pops and stuff when I was younger, and that's yeah, that's just true. As bad which is as just yeah, chocolate just... rice bubbles. Man, as a kid, me and my sister would take turns in who got to drink the chocolate milk out of it. We didn't even want the cocoa pop part. The that was like whatever we just want the chocolate milk seed so stirred around forever and try and get it really chocolatey and then yeah drink the chocolate milk <laughs> very nutritious <laughs> yes. um right that's cool i'm glad i got to try that yeah that was good i've never tried that yeah. what have we got in there tackies 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 fuego, fuego? Uh, hot, chili. hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. Oh, and the picture makes oh. it look like they're super hot. I don't know if they're trying to scare you there, but there's like flames coming off them and everything. So I'm like, oh god, okay. Mm. You want to save that one for a little bit in case it burns kills us? Oh yeah, that's uh, true. Let's like save our taste buds so we can still taste another things. warhead, apple one. All right, so maybe yeah. we'll do like the warheads and this at the end. Yeah. When it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I think there's a couple more. I'm going to put a chili and a warhead in my mouth at the same time. Oh, here we go. Oreos. We've had them. We've got them in Australia Oreos, now. Oreos, we do. Our vegan and, friends love them. Yeah, because they are vegan, so. But we can have a Oreo. Yeah, why not? Haven't had one forever, so. Yeah, you just want to go hard? Oh, yeah, okay. Try not to eat too much before lunch. You can have the lunch. big bit. Probably not cool. Can't go wrong with Oreos. Mmm. They're really nice. Mm. Crispy, chocolatey. Yeah, I like them. Yep. Kind of need like a glass of milk with that though. Hmm. I've got water if you want. Mm. I might need it after like the um, <laughs> sour and the hot stuff. <laughs> Let's try the Twinkies. I think that's the last thing. What's that one? Oh, more packing. Yeah, aside from the hot and sour stuff. Yummy! Yay! I get to try a Twinkie. Do yeah. you know that these were on sale on eBay for like $20 a pop yeah. for a while? And I think it was because for a while 
you couldn't get them in Australia and I guess there were some expats from USA or maybe even people from Australia who really liked them and so people were spending up big but then they've opened since like some American food shops and stuff so they're not like crazy anymore. Yeah. I went to school with a bunch of Americans. I've never had a Twinkie before. Did they like Twinkies or did they, could you get Twinkies though? No, not where we were. Yeah. But they could have brought it over. That's true. Oh, yeah, I've just, I've never tried one. Cows? Yeah, I think so. They're quite large. I think they're filled. They, they look Yeah, they've good. got filling. Yeah, they do look good. Oh, well, let's have this one that's broken. All right, let me just hold that up. This one's like bursting at the seams a little, so we're going to eat that one. Is that just cream filled? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Creamy filling. Ooh. Yeah. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm. That's dangerous. That's quite nice. That's really good. Mmm. Just a cream. It's got cake. a certain flavour to it. Mmm. Like, I wouldn't say it's just like, a, it's not even vanilla. I don't know what I would call that. It's just whipped cream, right? I don't know, yeah. Sponge, mmm. To me, it's just got something more to it than just being a plain sponge. And I can't, like maybe the glaze has some flavour in it of some kind. Yeah. Might just even be like a bit cold syrupy or something like that. Just mm -hmm. has a... Yeah, like a caramelized almost mm. thing to it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Uh, big. Ah. <laughs> I've shoved it all mm. in my gob. <laughs> mm. Oh, I kept it knocking something. I've got long sleeves and they're me uh, being a menace, I'm flicking things off the table. <laughs> oh, that was nice. All right. Yeah. So. I've eaten all like the really seemingly safe things and now we're going to go in for the not so safe things and see how we go. Chili? Do you want to try that chili? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. So we're going to try these chili, what are they? Tactus Fuego chips. Hot chili pepper and lime tortilla. It sounds chips. nice. They sound so the good. The picture looks scary. <laughs> yeah. Enlarge the so good. Let's see. Good thing is there's a motor car race on I want to watch today so I can... Ah, oh, Dan's got the snacks because he's going to watch some sports. Oh, they're, um, they're, um, weird too. They're oh, rolled. I thought they looked like they were rolled up on the thing. That's interesting. So, like, yeah, they're, um, little matchsticky sort mm. of rolled up chip things. Smells good. Yum. Mm. We've got a kick for them. They got a really nice flavour, like tomatoey chili. Mmm. You get the lime, the pepper. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. It's like a paprika or yeah, paprika with chili, mm -hmm. would you say? Yeah. Or tomato and chili. I'm not sure, like a real condensed sort of mmm. Yeah, I have never. Mm. I like these. I've never heard of them. No. Like I don't think we have these in Australia. Awesome. We do have a lot of the stuff nowadays that you guys have I think like I see um, some stuff that I've definitely seen over in the States but I don't think I've seen candy corn you can mm. probably get it if you really tried there's some American shops that probably have yeah Twinkies and candy corn and stuff in it but I think they charge premium prices because it's not something that's um, in a large supply over here mm. Oh, yeah. that's good. Mm. Yeah, mm. really good. All right. They're my favorite. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the sweet. I like stuff, the so um, the cake as well. The um, what's it called? The whoopie pie or whatever. That yeah. was really nice. Actually, I good. didn't mind the taffy. Yeah, taffy's good. Mm. Um. Oh, and the we liked the um I think we liked most things though, didn't we? We liked the little uh, Kit Kats. Actually, there's nothing I didn't like. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that candy corn was probably a little too sweet for me. I'm gonna struggle to eat that. Mm. Um, oh, we didn't need a roll up. We could try. Good. I wonder if their roll ups are different. Yeah, I'm gonna try one. Yeah, we've had these before. We've got roll ups in Australia. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same flavour. Like, I'd say roll ups are roll ups probably, but. Mm. 
I used to have these as a kid. No, I haven't had them for years, them. actually. Yeah. And then you can get like those fruit leather things that are a little bit like more. These are the same. Fibrous. The, these are a bit more the sweet hmm. than the fruit leathers. They always got that wrong. Yeah. I'd say American sweets are very similar to Australian sweets, right? I think a lot of them are, but I think, um, I don't know how true it is, but there was a whole bunch of stuff that I looked up that was apparently, um, Aussie. I don't know that anything's particularly Aussie, except like Vegemite maybe, but, um, but there was like chocolate bars and stuff that were supposedly like Aussie chocolate bars, so. No. Sorry. I thought you had broken enough. I'm like, do you want to go halves? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I thought you broke it enough. You've got I some didn't there. Want another, I only want to get more. I didn't realize by halves you meant eights. <laughs> halves, just and not, also with, not num, with you. Num, num. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to unwrap this whole thing. Got to be more specific, honey. <laughs> oh, they're so sticky. Oh, yeah. That can't be a health food. Like, you hear fruit roll yeah. up and kids get these all the time in their lunch boxes. Did you get them as well? Roll ups? Mm. Yeah. And, you know, parents probably thought, oh, it's fruit. <laughs> There's <laughs> probably a little bit of fruit with your sugar. I don't know. <laughs> What's the first ingredient? Is it sugar? Oh, it's corn syrup. Mm. But then it's like sugar. <laughs> and then I think further down is fruit, maybe? I don't know. What is this? Produced with genetic engineering. What? Genetic engineering of the fruit, maybe, I guess. I yeah. Don't know. I didn't know they had to say that. Maybe yeah, that's something right. in the States. I don't think they say that here. Do they? I'm sure, a lot of things are produced with genetically engineered plants. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. All right, well, I think the only thing we've got left is the um, warheads. Just realised how much I must be a kid. Yeah. All the stuff. Well, it's all nostalgic foods, mm. yeah. Well, that one was. All right. Yeah, and the warheads, I suppose, as well. So, uh... Do you want apple, oh, raspberry, or lemon? Can I go raspberry? I think... Good, I, think I, I want the lemon. Okay. I think I liked the raspberry ones the best. If I remember I correctly. I like lemon. Yeah. Mmm. Well, I can't open it. It's stuck. Yeah, any excuse. Ugh. Do you know, and, but I loved Ooh, those lollies as well good. that coloured your mouth. There was a few different lollies, and I think there was one that was a sour, had a sour outside to it at least. And it was some sort of gobstopper, I think, but it was like, and it'd make your mouth completely Sugar. blue. That's good for filming. <laughs> blue mouth. I wonder if this will do it. Does it like, no, I don't think it does. Oh yeah, and these are as sour as I remember. If not more so. I love sour worms too. Mm. Which are obviously not as sour as this. <laughs> that first bit's like... Water makes my eyes water. Mm. Uh, it's like sucking a lemon, basically. Mm. <laughs> I've always liked them. They're good. I like it. There's this, But there's this part at the start that's just a tad too sour for me. <laughs> But then as you kind of wear into it a little, there's this perfect sourness, which is similar to the like sour worms or sour lollies. I love those things. So they're not so always intense, but I always get sad once the sour's gone. <laughs> I need to like imbue it with sourness all the way through. <laughs> awesome. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope Odin enjoys my package just as much. Um, there was a shit ton in mine. I went a bit overboard. So... Um, yeah, I don't know if, like, Odin's going to get a chance to eat everything that I put in there, but that's okay. <laughs> do you want to put in perspective how much you put in there? What do you mean? Like the postage was more than the cost of the lollies. The yeah. The box was that big. Yeah, that's also yeah. Australia Post. It was like one of those, like... It was a wine box. Wine box things, so it was like, kind of, like, large. There was a couple of boxes of chips and a couple of bags mm. of chips in there that take up a bit of room, though, so... I was partly it, but yeah, I did go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I had so much fun putting it together. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this like Halloweeny um, 
taste test of wallies and goodies and so forth um, make sure you do jump over to Odin's channel which I'll link in the description box as well to see what I got uh, for Odin and hit subscribe if you want to see more from me and maybe more from Dan I'll if be I can back rope in a year in. or two yeah. <laughs> once I rope him in maybe when I have snacks again he'll be back <laughs> um, I do have a giveaway that's going to be coming up soon so stay tuned for that make when? sure you stay subscribed I don't know yet. Thank Soon. you for <laughs> putting me on the spot. No, I am waiting for something to arrive in the mail and then I'll be doing a video um, of a giveaway. Don't know if I'm going to rope you into that or not. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Is it for you 1,000? Yeah, I mean, technically it's for the 1,000, but um, obviously I've gone a little bit beyond that. But we had a lot going on. I had the Goblin Ball and everything. So I mentioned to you guys I'll be doing a giveaway at some point after the Goblin Ball. And so, yeah, so it'll be coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and, yeah, anyway, we'll see the rest of you next time in Feywood. Bye, guys. Bye. Don't get these sparkles on me. You know I don't like glitter long. <laughs> I think you Oh, don't put the wrappers in there. Oh. Just Are you going to eat that? Put it down. No, chuck in the bin. <sighs> what? What have you got? I know I spat a couple times. I think uh, you did too. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> no, nothing. I saw you spit. All right. And I didn't say nothing because I'm a nice boy. Except you're saying it now. So yeah. not that nice. No, I'm saying it off camera. <laughs> Oh, it's still recording. Technically, it's still yeah. recording. Enjoy all the spit that Lauren did. <laughs> uh, um, before we start, what? Um, one take, no edit. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. One take, no edit. I'm cutting him out of this video. <laughs> you can't. No edit. All right. <laughs> We're going to end up like with a blooper reel. Yeah, no. Let's get rid of this part. Let's start again. <laughs>